Group sites are so easy to create that you can literally create one on the fly for almost any group, including small work projects. However, sometimes you'll find that within a group site itself, you'll find the necessity to subdivide its members based on different tasks, and that's why we offer the ability to create subgroups. The subgroups are located under the subgroups tab. This is a function that can allow either just managers to create subgroups or it can be open that all members of the group can create subgroups. The subgroup directory shows a list of all those public subgroups within a group site. These subgroups have all the features and functionality of a regular group site. They sit within a group site so they actually have their own navigation structure. You'll see that this sub navigation structure gives you access to a subgroup menu. This subgroup menu gives you all the access to the features like discussions, email blasts, file cabinet, member profiles, group blog, calendar. All these features are specific just to this subgroup. So if I were to go into discussions, I would find the discussions that were posted just by subgroup members. Conversely, if I were to go into the file cabinet, I would see files that were uploaded just to this subgroup. As a group site manager, you can rename the subgroups anything you choose. In the case of our corporate internet, we've called them work groups. As a manager, you have access to your subgroups, in this case work groups controls, which allow you to change the name of what you call subgroups. It could be committees, it could be teams, it could be projects, as well as access and edit the permissions and controls with regards to each subgroup. In this case, we'll take this one called Angela's Projects. We can change the name of the subgroup. We can affect the visibility. We can make this a public subgroup, limited, or private. Public means anyone in the group site can see and have access and join this subgroup. Limited means that anyone who's a member of the group site can see the front page of the subgroup, but nothing else. And private means you won't even see it unless you are, in fact, a member of that subgroup. We allow you to add a logo if you choose. You can have a description, as well as we give you an area to customize the front page of your subgroup. Like all features of a group site, subgroups are completely integrated into the easy user experience. As an example, a user can go to the subgroup tab, in this case renamed as work groups, and by clicking on it, it shows you the two subtabs, the work group directory or subtab directory, which has, shows you all of the groups, as well as my work groups, which only shows those subgroups to which I belong. You'll see here I belong to a subgroup called Billing and System Development. I could click there and go into just that subgroup, but it's also integrated to my group site experience. For instance, at a group site level, under Communicate, if I were to go to the Discussions section, not only will I see all the discussion forms for the entire group site, I will also see those discussion forms for the subgroups to which I belong. And here it is, Billing System and Development Discussions. I only see those discussion forms, those calendar events, those file cabinet postings for those subgroups to which I am a member. Subgroups are an important part of the group site feature family.